Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and you are watching Chat with Nicole and Budget. I do the budget by paycheck method and I use cash um, in my spending envelopes. I use cash for saving and thank you for coming along with me on my journey. So today I am cash stuffing my envelopes for my paycheck on the 5th, which is my first paycheck of March. I have everything written here. Let me go to this page. I use the Budget Moms. Um, these are her little booklets. So you get one per month and it comes with this container this cute little box container with all of the months she also currently i think these are sold out right now but she currently has a nice chunky binder and it has separate areas for each month for the whole year um okay so my bills and stuff um so this was this was the plan, this was the budget, um, and then this was reality. I got my W-2 as expected, and then I had gotten work bonuses. That was actually surprising. I was expecting 450. I got after tax 707. I also had our gas bill. I always budget 30, so I had, it was 79 cents. So I had to take a little bit out of our gas electric envelope uh, to add it together. And then that was my account cushion that I started with. And the goal is 200. So where we're at is this right now. So these are the prices of each thing and the check mark means it's been already taken out the account. Um, 9.50 is on auto, three, it hasn't finished yet. It hasn't transferred totally yet. Um, my student loan is three thirty, three twenty nine fifty four. Uh, that's not until today, so it probably won't post until maybe the eighth. They're always late taking it actually out of my account. Um, my cell phone bill was under, so that's good. Gas was over, but that was expected. That's why I save in my envelopes. Um, the internet is 60 as usual. Uh, the water, oh yeah, our water was a little under, but to be fully honest, I've been noticing that's their routine. <laughs> um, one month is like 32 days and the next month is like 28 or 29 days. So because of that, it fluctuates between 80 and $90. Uh, the pet insurance is actually 20, 2307 that hasn't been taken out because it's, it's set for the 18th um so i just have to wait for that and the seven cents like i said i usually don't count the change but it'll be offset by the other you know like for example the cell phone is under so that'll be offset and then ugh, i had a the gas bill charges a dollar fifty to make a payment who, who thought up of this? This is, I don't agree with this, but it, it has to be paid. <laughs> so I had to add that in. Um, and then after everything is finalized, I'll, I'll finish um, these other numbers. Oh, I can't show you. Oh, I think I'm too zoomed in. I'm sorry. Um, I'll do the, the rest of these numbers down here. And then... I, okay, so today's plan is to stuff the 100 envelopes. Finally, I'm so excited to, to share that with you. Um, it really does get addicting. It's, <laughs> it's a good thing, but um, anyway, the birthdays and the holidays. And then I wrote down this little sticky note. Um, I got my Rakuten payment. So that's going to be one ninety eight and thirty seven cents. I was able to take it out my they they send it every three months over to PayPal, 
and then I have to move it from PayPal to my account. Um, my work bonus was 707 and then the travel, that'll come probably end of next week. So the total towards my credit cards this month, I'm expecting and hoping I stick with it. Uh, $12.34 and $0.11, cents, so it's super exciting. I also double-checked my credit card. I know last video we were talking about it, and I did, in fact, swipe. <laughs> so I made a payment of $150 um, to my big credit card and brought it under $6,000 on the 1st. And I was super sure of myself that I had not swiped, but I did in fact. And ugh, gets me every time. It was, I took my my older dog um, for vaccines and it was $41 and I didn't have cash on me, so I swiped. So I'm a little over six, 6K on that one. But it's okay, cause, so I'm thinking once once I'm ready for all these, I'll probably zero out and pay off my Sam's card, which I'm fully expecting that to be, I haven't checked, but that one is probably over $750 because I swipe for gas. And I think what I'm going to do is put like a little notepad maybe, maybe something like this in my car with a pen. And every time I get gas, notate it. How much was it? And the date. And then that can help me um, budget a little better with my Sam's card. Because I get points, you know, for, for getting gas. So, okay, let's move on to the next. The next is my cash stuffing. So I have, I do not actually know how much I have. I should have 210. <laughs> I should have 210. Let's check. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100, 20, 130, 135, 40, 45, 50, 55. Ooh, these are sticking. 55, 60, 65. 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Okay, so we have 210. Let me pull up the plan again. I don't know why I keep putting it away. So the plan, let's do let's do the birthdays and holidays first. Um, holidays is 20. So I have my envelopes here all ready for us. So holidays gets our first 20. So this doesn't count Christmas. Christmas is absolutely separate. Um, okay, so 20 for that one. And then birthdays is 25. So we'll do 20 and 5. Our first 25 for birthdays. That's good. And then um, the 100 envelope challenge is 165. So let's... I can't wait till my cash tray comes in. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is... Okay, let's start over. Everyone does 100 envelopes their own way. So for me, I take 100 envelopes literally, and I just found that to be the cheapest way. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some envelopes and I had little circle stickers from previous arts and crafts. I've always done so many arts and crafts. Um, as a child and with my children um, so I had those and I stick one on each envelope I also got a container from Dollar Tree so here's oh, let me one minute let me fix my camera okay I I'm back so I hope this is a little better for you 
Um, so I got this container from Dollar Tree as well. I don't like to spend a lot of money if I don't have to, and it works. So this is what I did. I took my envelopes, numbered them one through a hundred, added our little the little sticker, and wrote the numbers. And then to make it a little more easier to see and find, I added index cards. So that's all this is. It is one index card this way and one index card that way, and I sort of cut it, cut it off a little bit. That way it, it pokes up. Um, and then I flip flopped sides. So the stickers are on this side, you know, one through 10, and then 10 through, well, really it's 10 through 19 is on this side. And, you know, I go back and forth all the way through 90. And then what I do is I save that much for the envelope. So for example, in envelope 35, there's gonna be $35 in here. And then what I do is seal it up so that I can't be tempted to take it out. And I started with 100, since that's always the harder, harder option. Um, and then I seal it up. I actually added a piece of tape to this one. I think something happened. It wasn't sticking or whatever. Same. <laughs> um, yeah, there. That one's regular. It was, it was okay. Um, so that's how I have that. And then for me, to make it more fun, I found this super cute 100s um, wall. They call it a wall chart. Um, and then I just color in. And then I have my, my cute little crayons. So that is what we're gonna do today. So I have 165. I am going to continue, you know, working backwards. Um, so I'll do 95. Let me grab my calculator. Um, 165 minus 95. So I'll do 95 and 70. Make sure I haven't colored it. Yep. I'm good. So I'll be right back. Let me color those. I like to take my time, so I'll speed you up. Okay, so let's add that to the envelopes have you guys tried the 100 envelope challenge yet i was incredibly nervous to try it i have decided to do it this way with our um health insurance deductible money co-pays and whatnot um so we'll see how how long I can stick with it. It's super hard, but it's fun because the mo for me, the more I color in, the more I want to color in. Um, but we'll see. So 95, 2, 4, 6, 8, 95. And I now see this is going to get a ton of ones and fives. Okay, let's double check. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ninety-five. In the ninety-five. Tuck this in. Is this something you guys would do? Um, or have tried in the past? I would love to to know how you have yours set up. Uh 95 and then I have 70. Find 70. Oh, that one was easy to find. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. They're all sticky. I need that sort quick. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 55, 
56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Awesome. Oh, I don't know why I flip it up the other way. Did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. So 70 in this envelope. I'm super tempted to switch it out, but it's okay. Um, yeah. I'll be right back. Let me make change. Okay, I am back. I just traded it f with my food shopping envelope. So we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70 going into the 70 envelope. Okay, seal that up, put it back. 70 and that's it, easy peasy. Okay. And we don't need that. Okay, I have two more things I wanted to talk about. I am super excited to share that, well, the Etsy shop is sort of opened. Uh, it is called Chat with Nicole Budget. It wouldn't let me add the and. They said the name of the shop would be too long. Um, <laughs> so I had to go with Chat with Nicole Budget. Um, but these are some cute new budgeting uh, savings challenges that I had so much fun creating. Um, it's been a full family endeavor. My husband has helped, my daughter and even my son has added some input and ideas. Um, it's been so much fun. So I have don't worry, donut, <laughs> sorry, donut worry about a thing. And then on the back is to color. Um, you can make your own savings number and then you can even color in the donut word. Donut, spend that money. <laughs> and then this one is let's celebrate walk in the park day. Um, that, that happens to be 3.30 and then underneath each of these stickers is um, a character and an amount to save. They're all low, by the way. <laughs> um, I think under five. And then this one is Hello Spring and has little walking guys for you to color in. And then this one is called Leap Into Savings. I thought that was pretty spring, springy. And then Save in Leaps and Bounds is on the back. And then you could see <laughs> The little girl running is $3 and the little boy is 2 And then they're each flip-flopped opposite. You could always make your own numbers to save too, like half of that, if anything, or double, I suppose. Um, and then this is my favorite. It's so cute. It's called Barn Babies. Oink, cluck, moo. So here's the design. And underneath each of these is a barn baby. And if it has a pink nose, you can decide how much you want to save. Um, I think I'm going to do this challenge. It's just too cute not to. Um, I think I'm going to do with a pink nose. I'm not sure. I'm thinking $3 and $2 is what I'm thinking. I like. I usually like to go with those two numbers. Um, and then without the pink nose. And then here's some barn babies on the back to, cover, to color in. Babies in a barn. So I'm going to be having adding these to our Etsy shop. It's called Chat with Nicole Chat with Nicole Budget. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this. And then my last thing, I have a super important question. So I don't know if you've seen my little friend here. Um let me pull him out. My daughter crocheted That's just my matches for my candle. Um, my daughter crocheted him. How cute is he? Um, his little tail. So you could use it as a mug, like a coaster. I like to hold it, hold my candle, um, my relaxing candle. Um, but I, I need a name. 
he doesn't have a name. I've never named him. I so I need help with that. I need I need name ideas um, for my little friend here. I would love to hear your recommendations or ideas for my little turtle friend. Um, yes, so I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'd love to hear from you and thank you so very much for joining me on my savings journey, my credit card paying off journey and just budgeting all around. Um, it it's, can be very overwhelming and frustrating, so I appreciate everyone's um, uh, participation and, and just company, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day.